was the first time I read this, like since I wrote it. <sighs> that you pray for a successful surgery and a complete healing. That you, hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is September 29th, 2024. And in today's video, I will finally sit down and answer Many of your questions that you've had for me so far regarding my weight loss surgery, why I had weight loss surgery, how much I paid for weight loss surgery, what was my experience like, just all the things, all the things. I would advise you to grab a cup of coffee or tea, sit down, because you guys know me. If you've been on the channel before, thank you for coming back. But you know, I share the real. Like, I answer it all, I don't hold back. And if you're new here, your girl don't hold back. So let's get into this video. I don't like the position of that camera. I mean, I haven't done this in so long, guys, that it's just, the setup is not, it's not happening. Did my, oh gosh, I am so rusty. All right, so here we go. So many of you know that I had weight loss surgery um, December 6th. Well, you may not know the date, but I had weight loss surgery December 6th, 2023. So like at the end of next week, well, this week coming, I will officially be around 10 months. Um, I had VSG, which is the vertical sleeve gastrectomy, basically where they cut the stomach and make the stomach smaller. And I have to say, like, I am really happy with my results. So I'm gonna share with you guys. Let's just talk about a couple things. First of all, let's talk about why. Why I had surgery. So my story is not like many stories that I see or hear about as far as like weight loss surgery goes. Um, as a matter of fact, I didn't even share with many people that I was actually having weight loss surgery because I knew that if I told anyone, they would be like, no, 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 you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. Um, and not only that, but I didn't have time because I'm going to share with you guys that I literally made up my mind in like a two week time span and then I had. So what had happened was many of you that have been following the channel, you know that I had lost 40 pounds through diet and exercise. Basically, I had cut sugar and flour. I was running and working out and then I was even doing like some intermittent fasting and I was having really good results. However, there came a period like around july i would say of 2023 around the time that i was like quitting my job and all of this extra stuff when i was working the two jobs whatever i started gaining like additional weight and i knew some of it was like stress related but it was just different like i was gaining weight so fast at a pace so rapidly that i just felt like something else had to be going on at first i didn't really have time to look into it but i definitely started thinking about like okay i need to go seek help i finally went to my local nurse practitioner and she did some blood work and everything and i want to say this was maybe like around early october and my blood work came back like pretty good it was just a basic um cbc panel though very basic it came back she was like oh you know it's okay like there's nothing significant standing out besides me being anemic and things like that she said to me it was like what if what if you're just meant to be heavier she's like is it affecting your running i'm like no she's like is it affecting your hiking like are you still able to do the things you were doing before and i'm like yes i can still do them but i just feel like i can do them at a better level and she just kind of i'm not gonna say she brushed me off because she didn't but she just didn't see an immediate need but for me i was gaining this weight and i just knew it was different it was different than like for instance i gained 18 pounds in like a very short period of time I got a recommendation to go um, to this place in Brandon. I live in Florida. So I got a recommendation to go to this place in Brandon and I'm not gatekeeping. I will tell you guys flat out because it was the beginning of what changed my life. It's called Age Rejuvenation Center. And the person that I met with was Allison. So I first went, I wrote down some dates here so I could be like on point with this. Um, so I first went on October 30th and I spoke with, not Allison at the time, I spoke with like other people that kind of do like your intake information and all of that and they ordered blood work and da 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 da. That was the first time I had had that much blood work done. And you guys, so I'm going to tell you cost of like everything that I can remember. If I don't remember to tell you something, just like put it down in the comment section and I'll, I'll definitely go back to it. But the amount of blood work that they ordered for me um, it was like a, an entire hormonal panel. It was it was a lot. It was so much so that it was almost four hundred dollars. I remember when I went to Quest and like I gave her the sheet or whatever, like requesting the blood work, and she's like, "You're really gonna let them do all of this on you?" And I didn't think anything like buy it at all. And I was like, "Well, it must be important." So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. And then when she told me like how much it was gonna be, I was like, "Okay, fine." She's like, "Are you sure?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, fine." Because you guys, I was at a point where I was running and I was training for that wine and dine half marathon, and I was at a point to where 
I wanted that life back so much. Like I wanted my active lifestyle back so much. And like I told you guys before, I had quit my job and like I was finally focusing on me, giving myself the time and energy that I felt that I deserved. Um, so yeah, I made the investment. So that was like almost $400. By the time I went back for my blood work, it was November 20th. That's when I, that's when I met with Allison. So at that appointment, but before I go on to that appointment, the first appointment is when they told me, you know, we can put you on one of the GLP medications. Um, you guys are like the semaglutide, terazepatide, all of those things. And I was kind of hesitant because I didn't really have time to like do my research on it. But I was also a little desperate, if we're going to call it that. So I told them to go ahead and order it, right? Um, so what they ordered for me was the terazepatide. So I didn't use it, but that's what they ordered for me. Um, so I went back November 20th and that's when I met with the nurse practitioner by the name of Allison. And it was the first time that I had felt so seen by another healthcare practitioner. Many of you guys know I'm a physical therapist, so I know the difference. Like I know when someone's kind of like brushing me over, I know when someone's kind of like, you know, trying to, like they look at me and like the amount of weight that I was and they just kind of think like, oh, you're not really exercising. Oh, you're not really working out. But with Allison, it was totally different. Like Allison was the first person that like sat me down and she was like, tell me your story. Like, tell me some things that have gone on and some things that have happened like in life. Like, how did you get here? And at that point, I was around 238 pounds. You guys know I started this journey at 260 pounds, lost 40 of those on my own. I was around 2.38 around the time I went to go see Allison. And she literally spent like over 90 minutes with me, like ugh, mind blown. And it was the first time where, and like I told her like how I was working out and how I was eating. And like, she was like, I believe you. She's like, I believe you. And not only that, like I felt like I was, if she didn't believe me, like I felt like I was so desperate by that point that if she didn't believe me, I was gonna like, pull up my Instagram, my YouTube account, and like show her like, listen, I've been working out, but I didn't even have to do that. Um, she's like, I believe you. And, and she started telling me how like obesity is a disease and like how there are so many different forms of treatment for obesity and blah, 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 blah. And like how if people have like high blood pressure, like no one shames them for taking medication for high blood pressure. Or if people have like other types of you know, comorbidities or things going on. Like no one shames them for getting help or seeking help for that. And that Allison was talking to me about how if I use um, the terazipatide, like how it could possibly help me get back down to the weight that I wanted to be at within like one year. And then she wanted to know like had I already used it? And I was like, no. <laughs> and she's like, well, you gotta kind of like use it. She's like, I feel like with the way that you're currently eating and eating as far as like not the volume, but like I'm a healthy eater. Go on my channel and look. I eat, I eat healthy. And with your current activity level, she was like, I feel like I can get you down within, you know, within like one year's time to where you want to be. All there. So during this time frame, I also had a patient that I was treating that is also specialized in, he's a physician, he specializes in bariatric medicine. So you don't really blur the lines. Like when you're the healthcare professional, you're there to take care of them. You're not bringing up like all of your own stuff. But something happened to where it affected his plan of care and then we started talking about weight loss. And he had mentioned to me that um, for many people, you know, we were talking about like DNA, family history, you know, the foods here in the US, blah, 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 blah all of this stuff. And he had said that for many people, what helps them is to have a metabolic reset. And he has said that two of the best ways in which an individual could do that was through, same thing as Allison has said, like through those GL, GLP-1 medications as well as through weight loss surgery. And I was like, really? So because he's also a friend of mine, I felt very comfortable like talking about some things regarding myself. And I was like, which, like, which do you recommend? It's like, well, I can't give you any recommendation, but just know that if you start the weight loss medications, then it's something that, you know, you have to kind of like be okay being on it for the rest of your life because of the way that the medication works. If you want to do more research on it, go do more research on it. Um, but like with the weight loss surgery, there's a possibility that you can like 
lose the weight and then reset your um reset the metabolism and then also get a new set point you guys know like most of us have a set point like a weight at which our body likes to maintain its homeostasis so with that in mind i was kind of like oh it's kind of interesting so from there let me just take a quick step I told you it was gonna be chatty so from there, I was at a gas station and I ran into one of my friends who had already previously had weight loss surgery like many years ago. And we were just talking. I'm like, hey, I was like, guess what, guess what? I think I'm gonna start those new medications, da 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 da, da. And she's like, really? She's like, why? She's like, just go have the surgery, have the surgery. And I was like, no, girl, like that's so permanent, da 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 da, da. And she's like, just go, I'll go with you. I'll go with you to your consultation. Just schedule a consultation. So that's what I did. Schedule a consultation on November 16th I had my first seminar I'm gonna just show you guys like how fast this went because I'm one of those people once I get knowledge and specifically with science when it makes sense my brain's kind of like oh November 16th is when I had my seminar with Dr. Schillifer who is actually the surgeon that did my procedure and between all the things that I was kind of like learning along the way from Allison from um this other physician on november 17th i paid the 350 dollar um down payment it wasn't a down payment it was like it was for something maybe like telehealth or i don't know maybe for my telehealth appointment and then i was like okay at that point i have time to decide because i knew i had that appointment coming up with allison on november 20th and by the time i left with allison i told her i said thank you so much i was like i think you've actually helped me make up my mind and I think I'm gonna just go ahead and have weight loss surgery. And her main concerns was like, which physician, like make sure they do it well. Like she was telling me different things to be concerned about um, as far as the procedure, go procedure goes that can cause issues on the line. Very helpful, very, very helpful. In November 22nd, I had my telehealth appointment with Dr. Shilifa's nurse. And literally at that point, November 22nd is when I made up my mind that yes, I'm gonna go ahead and have this procedure. And November 22nd is when I paid the deposit of $5,200, $5,200. And then we scheduled my surgery for December 6th. And at that time, why was it so fast? One, when I, when something feels good within me, I don't need a lot of time to decide. Like all I need to do, once I make a decision, like that's just, that's it. So, that but then also you guys i had a race schedule for one schedule for january and one schedule for april and even though they had told me i wouldn't be ready to run in january i kind of thought i would be able to walk it at least you know <laughs> i didn't even try like there was no way that could happen but i was able to run my race in april but um yeah we'll get back to that. so yeah i ended up having surgery december 6th and on December 6th, I paid the remaining balance of $6,300. So for total, it was $11,500 for the procedure. The first part went to the physician directly. The other part went to the hospital. I had a one night stay. I felt fine. Like I didn't have any side effects or any, like nothing. Like literally nothing was wrong. Everything went well. But I do want to share with you guys the letter that I sent to, um, some friends hold on my second okay so like i said i ended up having surgery on december 6th i called my parents december 5th because we had to um my husband was driving me down to boca so that i can have the procedure um my husband oh let's talk about that so how did my husband feel about me having weight loss surgery you guys he was sick like he got so sick he got so sick um i didn't even know that was why but the night like the day of surgery he was he had like flu-like symptoms like he had a fever he was um coughing and like he was just really really sick like in a way i had not seen him sick before later i find out that he was so nervous and like so did he want me to have a surgery no like this was not him this was all on me but he was so afraid that like if something happened to me during the surgery that people were gonna be mad at him and like think that it was his idea for me to have surgery. I'm like, why would they think that? Like, people know me. People know when Felicia make up her mind, like, that's just it. Like, ain't no changing it. <laughs> but that's something that he was afraid of. And you know, that's my husband, so I get it. Um, and even like on the way there, I remember 
him saying to me, like he was like, we were talking about things like the what ifs and I'm like, babe, like I'm not gonna die. And I'm like, I'm not gonna, I was like, I know I'm not gonna die because I can see, I'm like, God has already given me the vision. I can see the other side of this. Like I see myself running, I see myself being faster. Like, oh, I'm getting a little teary eyed thinking about it. But yeah, so he was sick. No, he did not want me to have surgery. He wanted me to be happy and be in agreement. He was in agreement with whatever I wanted to do. But like, did he say like, oh, you should, no, none of that. Okay, so I'm gonna read you guys a letter, um, that I, a text that I sent to like eight people. Literally, I was in bed and I sent this to them the night before I was going to surgery. I said, hi, if you're receiving this message, it's because not only do I love you dearly, but I consider you to be, to be my close circle and I wanted to share something very exciting with you. I'm having weight loss surgery tomorrow morning. I'm having the vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery. As most of you know, I've been on my health and wellness journey for quite some time, but this year I fell in love with running again. I'll share more details later, but after finally investing the time and money with practitioners that finally took the time to run proper tests, listen to my story and my lifetime goals of remaining active via running, hiking, and strength training, through prayer, I've quickly decided that this is the next step in my journey. I thank you in advance for your support. I also ask that you pray for Dr. Schillifer, my surgeon, and his team. This was the first time I've read this like since I wrote it. <laughs> that you pray for a successful surgery and a complete healing. That you Hold on. Okay, I think I'm getting teary out because in that in the moment that I wrote this, I felt so sure that I was doing the right thing. And then like to be almost 10 months out from writing this letter and things have definitely worked out. I feel a little overwhelmed with gratitude right now. Okay. Um, I ask that you pray for Dr. Schillifer, my surgeon and his team that you pray for a successful surgery and a complete healing, that you pray for my loving, supportive husband who's a bundle of nerves, and lastly, that you pray that my story be one of <clears throat> be one of healing, not just for me, but that it may one day inspire others. I've learned so much in the last 30 days about obesity, genetics, lifestyle, etc., and I just want to be a light of inspiration and change. After sending this message, I'm going to bed to rest. Lewis and I have to be at the hospital at 6 a.m. I'm the second procedure of the day. My goal is to update you when I'm out of surgery and not too groggy to use my phone with the emoji. Should I forget to respond by 8 p.m., feel free to reach out to Lewis. Also, you only have to keep the secret until Thursday as I have full intentions to own this journey and I will share publicly then. Love you. So yeah, that was in my notes app. So like I said, I literally made the decision to have the surgery, like, what was it? Quickly, like I literally decided on November 22nd and December 6th is when I had, so when I had surgery, I just knew I knew that was the next step in my journey. And I sent that to them. And I think I had surgery on a Wednesday. And I told them like, just all you have to do is like keep it to yourself until I get out of the hospital. So yeah, 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 that's what happened. So um, the money that I spent, I did spend $1,200 on the Terrazipatide. I'm pretty sure I'm probably saying that wrong, but I never, I didn't use it. I used, well, let me take that back. I used it, I think I did one or two shots before giving, before not using it anymore. But I didn't like the way that it made me feel. My appetite for me actually felt like out of control. It was actually causing me to eat more. Um, so yeah, I just, I didn't go that route. Um, why did I choose Dr. Schillenfer? I chose Dr. Schillenfer because I had already had multiple friends that have had surgery with Dr. Schillenfer and their results have all been amazing and um, they like no major complications, none of that stuff. And they maintained their weight loss for like two years, three years, four years. 
So I knew that if I ever did have weight loss surgery, like it would either be Dr. Schoenfer or go to Tijuana. But when I talked to my husband about it, he was like, no, 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 you're not going to Tijuana. Like, I want you to stay stateside, which is fair. He's a nurse. I Listen, stay stateside. Dr. Schoenfer did my procedure. Um, so the total cost, I spent a lot of money. Like I spent a lot of money even like meeting with um, Allison because insurance did not cover like the whole thing with meeting with Allison, like at age rejuvenation um, center, maybe it will cover for some people. I don't know, but like my insurance didn't cover any of that stuff. So I just had to pay out of pocket. And then as far as like surgery goes, I know that insurance will cover um, for some people, some insurances do. I don't even know how the whole process goes. I don't even know. Like I said, I made my mind up in like two weeks, so there was no time to even like try to wait for an authorization or I don't even, and like I didn't really have any medical diagnosis. Like Allison did share with me that I was becoming insulin resistant um, and like another reason why the metabolic reset would have been great for me and like my, my metabolism was like in the trash, in the trash. Like I wasn't even burning, like the amount of calories, I, my, it was not good. Um, so. I didn't use insurance for any of this. Oh, we were actually, around this time, we were um, in the process of purchasing a new build. So like, things were not happening well with the new build, like it wasn't gonna be ready in the time that we needed it ready. So basically, I just used the down payment that we were gonna spend on the house instead of getting the house. I got, a, got surgery. <laughs> um, oh, I, I have some more questions. Let me, let me do this, because I do wanna address these other questions too. I know this video is probably like super long, but um, I owe this to you guys, honestly. Um, what was going on with your metabolism? Yeah, that's what was going on with my metabolism. It just wasn't responding. I was also having some issues like with my thyroid. But back to the whole insurance thing, I think you have to have like qualifying diagnosis in order for insurance to pay for. Don't quote me on any of this. I didn't have any of that. So I like insurance was not gonna be there for me. So I just paid out of pocket. Um, what is the name of the surgery? VSG, vertical sleeve. Basically, they cut your um, stomach and make it smaller. In the process of cutting the stomach, um, it does remove like some of the um, like the ghrelin in the stomach, but that stuff comes back. So like the body is extremely smart. It knows how to eventually reroute and all of that stuff. Um, and but it decreases the appetite, and then the stomach is smaller, so you get full faster. Um, let me see something. I think I wrote down one other thing I wanted to share. Oh, and weight loss surgery also increases the production of GLP-1s, which helps control your appetite and your metabolism. So you got that. And then also it increases the production of leptin, which is um, a hormone that makes you feel fuller, faster. So that's another way that you lose weight. What was good about it? All of those things. All of those things have been great, especially when you're on a weight loss journey. Um, seeing the progress, like you know, each week kind of like seeing you, like seeing myself either like lose a little bit of weight or stay the same, um, that was really good. So I think that was good about it because sometimes when you see progress, you're able to keep up with things for a longer period of time. How did it fix your metabolism? Just then how I said, those things kind of like help my metabolism. And now guys, when I run, like when I'm working out, I can actually see things happening now. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, what wasn't great about it? possible side effects and changes you've had to make for the rest of your life. Um, any difficulties you have to endure now or differences you have in your body. So the only downside for me has been, I am unable to eat and drink at the same time. Like I, which most people that have had this procedure are the same way, but not everyone. Cause I have friends that can, like the thing I miss the most is like being able to um, drink coffee and like have a little something on the side. I have to drink and like wait 30 minutes before I can eat anything. So that's been the only downside for me. I am speaking for myself and I am speaking from my experience because I feel that I can eat more than a lot of people. I feel that I personally will have to wait and measure my food for the rest of my life because I can eat. <laughs> Your girl can eat. Like I weigh and measure. I feel like if I didn't weigh and measure my food, then I probably would not lose weight. Oh, that's another thing. How much weight have I lost? I'll get right back to that. I'm not holding out. I'm, I'm sharing everything with you. Any difficulties in my body? No, I wish, a lot of people say they wish they would have had the surgery sooner. Um, I wish I would have had the results sooner, but I feel like everything for me was all about timing because 
because I've been on this journey and like I've completely changed my lifestyle, like I am super active. I I don't think I've gone a week. Like on this journey, I've worked out on average five days a week. There may have been one week where I only worked out four, day, four days a week, but yeah, definitely five days a week. I am running, I'm lifting, I'm walking. I'm stretching, like I'm able to do all the things that I, I wanted to do, like everything I put in that letter, I'm back to it. I am so thankful. Do I ask too many questions? <laughs> no, you don't have too many questions. And yeah, so that's, I think that's all of the questions you guys had. Oh, let's go to the weight loss, cause I'm not, I hope I'm answering everything. So I use this app called Bear, Bearantastic. I actually have not lost as much weight as most people think that I have. Um, I would definitely say I think because I am lifting weights and because I'm running, I'm putting on a lot more muscle. Um, and I think, like, not I think, I know, because even my physician told me, my doctor told me, he's like, Felicia, for you, he's like, most people tend to lose like their weight in the first year. He's like, but for you, it may take you 18 months. And I don't want you to get like, um, discouraged by that he's like because you're doing it in a way that you're going to be able to maintain it for the rest of your life he's like um continue with your lifting you're working out like he knew that was one of the main things prior to me having the surgery like that was the only reason I wanted to do it so like we talked in depth about that and with um him and PA Tiffany like we yeah so let's I'm clicking on here so since surgery how much you guys think I've lost like I wish I could put up another maybe I could find another picture of like before so since surgery, I've lost 63 pounds. 63 pounds, but some people tell me it looks like I've lost like 100 pounds, which I definitely think like putting on muscle has helped. Oh, sometimes people ask me like, do I have a lot of loose skin? I have some like on my arms and stuff and I have some on my stomach. Do I, I'll show you guys the stomach in another video. But nothing to the point of like where I've decided like, oh, I wanna have surgery to remove that. I feel pretty confident right now. I'm not having any issues as far as like, when I run, like the skin is not like chafing. N none of that's happening yet. So, oh, what's my current weight? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. I am currently 174.4. So you guys know I started this journey at 260 pounds. Prior to surgery, I was 238. And then now I'm down to 174.4. You guys know I started the whole 100 pound weight loss journey, so ideally, I still would like to get down to 160 pounds. Believe it or not, at my height, which I'm 5'5", if I'm not mistaken, 160 pounds still has me above like where I should be. I think I'm supposed to be like 157 and a little lower. But I think I'll definitely be really happy with 160 pounds. So this was a very chatty video. I hope that this answered a lot of your questions, guys. Um, as far as YouTube goes, I ideally I would like to come back as kind of like a lifestyle type channel just sharing more things and you know that's going on like in my day-to-day -day life because i do have some exciting things coming up i'm currently training for my next 10k is in january at disney and then after that i've also registered for a 10 miler in april and i've got some pretty exciting things coming up as far as like business and all of that goes so i kind of like like how the channel was before like when i shared about fitness stuff but also meal prep and budget type stuff i really like that a lot but i'll what happened i'll be honest like what happens sometimes when you talk about money i don't know it gets a little gets a little icky particularly with people that you know but i think i think i've kind of like grown up a bit and like I'm a little bit more savage now, so maybe, maybe I'll come back with that. You guys let me know. Let me know what you want to talk about. Like, do you want the budgeting stuff? Do you want to talk about money? Do you want to talk about business, career, lifestyle, what's in my bags? Like, all of that stuff, the fun stuff, the try-ons, the hauls. Um, I haven't really bought a lot of clothes. I need to at some point. And I think that whenever I do, that would be fun to share on the channel. Yeah, this has been a super, super long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until the next video, I'll see you later. Bye!